Youth runner here uh, with Ali Weimer on my left, Emma Atkinson on my right. That's 1-2 for the Gophers, 21-08, uh, 21-13 in the Jack Johnson 6K at the 38th Rig React Invitational. And all I can think about are 2021 vibes because the last time the great Ali Weimer won on this course was also the last time that Minnesota won on this course. Uh, so how about that synchronicity there? Yeah. Uh, Ali, obviously, uh, I know what, a, uh, and I love seeing you, you know, reconnect with the alma mater over there, you know, give them a little encouragement and inspiration, but uh, just talk to me about what, uh, what it means to be back, to be feeling good, you know, uh, obviously, you know, I know last year was not the race or the experience that you wanted, but just uh, to, to be back on top here, to have Minnesota back on top here, how powerful is this? This is huge. I think this is a huge, like, confidence builder for us. I mean, the past two years have been interesting to say the least it's been full of a lot a lot of heartbreak and a lot of touch and go and i like feel like i keep saying that but it's to know that like everything that we've done into like to be here is like i can't even put it into words um i'm so proud of this team i'm so proud of you i'm so proud of everyone and it's not it's taken a whole village of people to be where we are absolutely emma to that point a village i mean obviously it was Five incredible women in, uh, in, in the top 20, but obviously, you know, the Minnesota women uh, were out in, uh, in, in full force today, whether it was competing, whether it was supporting or whatnot. Just uh, how valuable has that been to kind of get the energy and get that identity back to what, you know, what we have come to expect under the great Sarah Hopkins and the Minnesota women? Yeah, we are definitely a very team-driven team. We are kind of all about togetherness. We love working together. That's kind of what fuels us. And I think looking back, it kind of started after after Big Ten's track. So at the start of summer, like there was just this different feel with the team. We just we knew what we wanted going into the season, and it just started that first week of, first week of summer. Every single day, we were up super early in the morning before work, getting our runs in, like recovering, eating right. We've been doing all the little things, and it just feels really good to see it show out on the course today. And just being here with everybody, like. This was just like such a fun, fun time, and I'm just so happy it went like the way it did. I give both of you so much credit for not only the understanding of this course and the respect of this course, but the patience on this course. Yeah. Emma, obviously we saw, you know, Kylie Sims was over and Abigail Whitman from uh, Wyoming, you know, really want to make it honest and ambitious and you know, be courageous up front and whatnot, but just how important was it for Emma Atkinson, you know, Allie Weimer, the rest of the Minnesota women to run your race and just yeah. trust that you're going to be there, you know, with 2K to go, a K to go. So yeah, that was one of the biggest things that we were bringing in today was just the fact that we we know this course. We were out here last Friday doing a, a tough workout on it. And so just kind of having that home meet advantage definitely plays a huge role for our for our race plan. Um, going into it, uh, Ali and I, we stayed together for like the first 3K and we I love how we like talk it out. We always are kind of like checking in on each other, like mentally yeah, you can relaxed. Hear us, you yeah. can hear us chit chatting. If, if, you, if you pay attention, you'll hear us saying like, Mentally relaxed, like 3K in, we still got lots of the race left. We know that that 4 to 5K is kind of the tough, a really tough part that kind of gets missed by a lot of other teams. And so just trusting that, that 4 to 5K, that's our K, that's where we're going we're gonna to really put in a little extra surge. And I think we did such a great job, the whole team. And just knowing that we kind of did come from behind as a team with Aaron passing like five people in the last K. Yeah, like, yeah that's huge. That's, that's kind of where that, that team is team-ish or team yeah. confidence like, yeah. comes from, just knowing that we can trust each other to, to kind of carry each other through the race. Yeah. I'm so glad that you touched upon that. Uh, I mean, obviously, you got to have the upfront, but you also, uh, I mean, this, this isn't won by, you know, by two women, so the performances of Aaron, the performances of Brian, the performances of, uh, of Izzy, you know, yes. and, 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 and everybody else, like, uh, like just everybody believing in one another, trusting in one another, trusting in Hops training, you know, uh, how, how instrumental was that today, and how necessary is that going to be the rest of the year, Ali? I think that's going to be a huge part of the rest of the year. I mean, we all work out together, obviously, but a workout, like, brings confidence, but it only speaks so much until you can come out here and, like, to know that there wasn't an ounce of me that was worried that we weren't going to figure it out at some point, and honestly, like, I would, I look behind me, and the Wyoming girl is behind me, and I'm like, oh my gosh, like, I gotta go, I gotta go, and then once Emma was behind me, I'm like, okay, I'm so confident that she's gonna stay where she is, and I'm gonna stay where I am, and everyone's gonna do their work, and so I think having that tight-knit group going forward is something that we haven't had in the past, and so being so close together is gonna be a huge role into, like, how we place overall as a team.
Ali, I, I know asking you to, uh, to compare them is probably asking like who your favorite relative is or who your favorite teammate is. Uh, but uh, but just the, the the energy of, of, of coming down that stretch yeah, now versus you know, versus uh, doing it in, in, in high school. Like just you know, how how do, how do you kind of summarize those emotions of what that meant to do it with a Gopher kid on? It was. I, I didn't really feel real. I felt like somebody was about to come up and take it away from me a little bit. I don't know. Like I was like, what is happening? Is this actually real? Um, but I kind of was more focused like this time around on the team aspect of it because like obviously high school, I wanted the team to do well. But today, I, my main thing was like I really want like the team to do well because this is like a huge confidence builder and I know the work that we put in and so I honestly like was more worried about that than like I'm like okay just get across the line so you can score some points so yeah. Well they certainly did again uh, one two here uh, with Aaron and uh, Brianne and, and Izzy all, all in top 20 uh, first title for uh, the Minnesota women uh, since 2021 and come from behind fashion and maybe some key points against the mountain region team that's what we want when it's all sorted out in the end and in November uh, ladies uh, stay healthy congratulations thank you so much